I just want to make a quick video on this neat application. It's actually called Lock Screen 2. It's on sale on the Mac Store for $1.99. Usually it's. Yeah, normally sells for $5. Uh, it's a really neat application. Pretty much what it does is it makes your lock screen from your iOS's port to your Mac computer. It looks really much the same. Uh, it's very customizable. You can have it open at the login. You can lock screen with the application launch. So every application you open, it opens. So really, I recommend doing that. Uh, you can lock before sleep. Um, make sure when you do this that you don't have your password when it sleeps right away. You can also set it when you want it to lock. Um, I don't like that it still locks uh, after 30, 1 second, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes uh, if you're watching a movie. Um, it should detect when you're doing a movie. Um, but other than that, it's pretty nice. You also can customize the lock keys, and I like that. And you can also do system sleep after it's already locked. So it's in the lock screen, you can set it to sleep. That's pretty cool. Uh, when you go to appearances, you can choose your image, you can use a default, you can use a current desktop, um, get more images. You can also do custom sounds. So I'm going to show you what mine sounds like now. Uh, hold on one moment. So mine kind of sounds like a car alarm and I want to unlock it. It's pretty neat. Um, you can also change that. You can actually do it to the actual, um, let's do transformers. I think it's pretty cool. So let me change this for you. Then, um, you also do the regular iPhone sounds, um, you know, a click sound. I actually like the car one, so we're going to do that car one again. Show you again, here we go. You can also customize exactly what you want it to say in the slider, which is pretty cool. You can also use profanity in this. I tried using profanity. So, um, if you wanted to say, fuck you, uh, you can actually do that and then say lock. Oh, I also forgot this. Um, when you set that, you have to press the enter key to make it actually active. There we go. See, it says fuck you right there. Um, now you can also use black and white icons. You see icons, black and white. You can also usually it looks like yellow and, and uh, silver. And now it's black and white, which I like. Then in security, you can uh, set up your passcode with your, your pass pattern with your keyboard, and you just pretty much set up one you like. So um, on my computer. Mine's just simply A all the way to apostrophe, and then you slick it again. Then you slick it one more time. Then you press confirm. Then you slide to confirm, and it's done. You can also remove that and set up new ones. And the really neat thing is uh, experimental. You can use the trackpad. And if you wanted to kind of confuse people, you can actually add hotkey on top of that. So instead of just using your finger, you can also use a command key on top of that or an option or a control key. I just like using my uh, fingers. Uh, I, I didn't put it usually on any fingers, but I put on two fingers just so people don't you know, know how to get it on exactly. And, that, and that's pretty much it. But the only downfall I have about this application is mostly that when you put it on and you have your password, when you put it on sleep normally, uh, it doesn't actually for that. So let me just uh, show you that real quick. So usually when your computer is on sleep mode, you you have, you know, like to type in your passcode, which you usually have, but when you do this, it doesn't ask you for that, it just unlocks it. So if someone knows your actually past pattern and your track pattern, uh, 
gestured and they can get easily get in. I wish there was a way to do a path code as well. But I guess this is just made for a quick easy access. But other than that, it's a good app. Recommend to go get it. It's right now for $2 and normally 5 I hope you guys liked pretty much it for my screen recording. But I hope you guys liked. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.